Hey there guys, it's Brogues here with my guide to getting the Modern Technology Trophy Stroke Achievement in Battlefield 1. In this guide I'll show you the locations of all currently known wine bottles and give you advice on how to get the kills with them so you can unlock the hidden melee weapon, the broken bottle and gain the Modern Technology Trophy. Okay, first map we're dealing with is the SOM, and there are five confirmed wine bottles in this map. Now, as you can see from this map, there's one at A, one at B, one at C, one at E, and then one at the midpoint between D and F. And I'll show you where they are right now. Wine bottle A is located in the barn at capture point A. Now, it's located on the doorway next to the spawn site. Wine bottle B is located inside the windmill on capture point B. Now you'll need to climb over boxes in order to reach it. Wine bottle C is located inside the little cottage on capture point C. Now you'll notice this as it's on the floor next to some rags. Now the next wine bottle is located between points D and F. It's off to the side in a little bunker-like area and you'll notice it because of the large German flag that hangs over the side on one side and on the opposite side, as you can see just above my gun, is the wine bottle. The final wine bottle E is located on capture point E next to some machinery. You'll know you're in the right place if there's a set of ladders right next to it allowing you to climb on top. The next map is Passchendaele, and there are five wine bottles confirmed to be on this map. Now, four of them are pretty easy to get. The only one you might have difficulty with is E, but in this video I will show you where it is in relation to the other points. Wine bottle A is located outside of the ruins of the church. It's in the main trench way between A and C, and you'll see it on the left-hand side just as you get into it. Wine bottle B is located on the left hand side of the fortified bunker at capture point B. Wine bottle C is located in a small wooded bunker about 40 metres south of capture point C. Wine bottle D is located about 20 metres north of capture point D. You'll see two ruined bunkers and it's on the one on the left hand side. Now, wine bottle E is located about 40 metres east of capture point E. Now, this is the only one that you should have difficulty finding, but as you can see from this map, it's not too far away, and it's basically in a small bunkered area that looks like a bar with tables and chairs. Now, the final map is Caporetto, and as you can see, there are actually six wine balls, which leads us to believe there's six on each map. And I'll show you how to get all of these. All of these are pretty easy to find. Wine bottle A is located 50 metres east of capture point A. Basically go downhill past the linen projectors into the first bunker. You can spot the fire, then you've got your wine bottle. Wine bottle B1 is located 45 metres south east of capture point B. You'll see it on the ground between a bench and a gramophone. Wine bottle B2 is located 35 metres north east of capture point B. It's basically next to the vehicle spawn and you'll see it next to a statue in the courtyard. Wine bottle C is located on the bridge at capture point C. Now it's at the south hand side of the bridge. Wine bottle D is located right on capture point D and it's basically right next to the linen projector button. You'll see it standing on the top of a wall. Wine bottle E is located 60 metres south of capture point E. It's basically on the back of a train as you're going towards the viaduct. Now you've got your wine bottle, it's the difficult task of getting a kill with it. Things to remember. Once you pick up a wine bottle, that's the only time you can pick up that wine bottle. Now it will respawn for other people, but the timer is extremely long, at least about 6 or 7 minutes per wine bottle. Secondly, if you pick up a wine bottle, you cannot switch away from it. You cannot change your weapons, you cannot use abilities. You can use a grenade and keep your wine bottle, but that is it. Once you pick that wine bottle up, that is your only offensive weapon you have. Now, I had hoped to show you actual video footage of getting kills with the wine bottle, but hey, my capture device decided to crap out not once but twice, so I'll just describe what I do. Basically, you sit in a capture point you already control, you sit and hide right in the corner, you make sure you have good lines of sight to whatever direction they may be, may be come from. So if you're on E and you know they're on B, you watch the direction that B is sitting in, and you sit there and wait, and you bait them in. 
you sit there and wait for them to come onto the capture zone and then as soon as you see one you run out and you smack them the wine bottle is a guaranteed one hit kill on anything that isn't an elite soldier you can get a one hit kill on an elite but you have to do it from behind and that is it for this episode if you found it helpful at all please feel free to like and indeed comment down below if you want to help the channel grow please feel free to subscribe